it's no accident that you clicked on this video. What I'm about to share with you in this video could cost me my life, but it could save your life. My friends, in the late 1990s, I was in the United States military. I had a very high top secret security clearance that took me over a year to get. I worked behind three vaults in a sealed room, and I worked there 12 hour shifts, three days on and three days off. And I dealt with information that it included but was not limited to nuclear key card information that could launch nuclear missiles, strategic Russian maritime submarine reports, uh, weapon school for bombers and fighter jets. Uh, I dealt with much information, top secret information daily. It was extremely sensitive information. And in a 12 hour shift, we had a hard copy of all the information that we logged and it was usually about two or three inches thick. And the reason I tell you this is because all the information that I received in the time that I was in the military does not compare with a little bit of information that I'm about to share with you right now. My friends, many of you out there are looking for the truth. As you know, this world is dark and evil and it's getting darker and darker. It's full of greed, it's full of lust. It's full of nothing but evil. As you know, it's controlled by an elite group. It's controlled by organizations and institutions that are wicked. It's controlled by a group of very wicked individuals. These individuals are servants of Satan. They are servants of the devil, who is the prince and the power of this world. My friends, that elite group of people that run this world, that are working for the devil himself, they do not want you to know the information that I'm about to give you. That information is this. Jesus Christ is the way. He is the truth and he is the life. That Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. There is salvation in no other name but Jesus. And my friends, to have eternal life, you must be born again. You must repent of all self. You must turn away from your way of living. You must turn away from this world and you must trust in Jesus and obey his words. His words are recorded in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Those words are the words that you will be judged by. My friends, you must obey Jesus. You must go and get on your knees and cry out to him. The thing that these churches are not telling you that are ran by these wicked organizations and institutions, these churches are ran by the same groups of people that control this wicked world, that own all of these organizations, that own the television broadcasting companies, that own the hospitals, that own the pharmaceutical companies, that, that run this wicked world. Those same people run most of these denominations of these churches. So my friends, do not go to church to be saved. You must go to Jesus. Jesus still speaks. He speaks to his children. He said, my sheep know my voice. My sheep listen and they follow me. And he said, all those that know the truth, know his voice and, are, and listen to his voice. So my friends, if you don't hear the voice of Jesus, please run and get on your knees and cry out to Jesus. Cry to him like a little child. Cry to him like a little baby. Cry to him like when you were a little child. Go and run to him. My friends, all this information that you're looking at on the internet, trying to find truth, trying to find knowledge, trying to find wisdom, all of those things are counterfeits of the real truth. And that truth is Jesus. He is the only one that can set you free. And whom the Son sets free is free indeed. You see, my friends, all of this information about the Illuminati, all of this information about the Bilderbergs, the Freemasons, the Knights of the Round Table, the Templar, all these different things, all these different secret societies and groups, all of that information will not set you free. It'll give you knowledge, but that knowledge will puff you up and make you think that you are something when you are nothing. I am nothing. I am just a servant of Jesus, and he is real. You won't find him at a church. You won't find him in a building. <clears throat> you won't find him in a book. You'll only find him through a personal relationship. You'll only find him when you deny yourself and you get on your knees and you cry out to him and ask him to make you brand new. My friends, God is spirit. And you must worship him in spirit and truth. And you will only get the Holy Spirit when you cry out 
for Jesus, when you cry out to him and you ask him to make you new, and when you begin to obey him and live for him and serve him, my friends, the truth will set you free. And Jesus is the truth. Don't look to man. Don't look to women for truth. Jesus is the truth. And you will not find him anywhere but on your knees. If you want the truth, go get on your knees. If you want the truth, don't look around. Look up to Jesus. Get on your knees and cry out to him now. Every bit of top secret information that I ever laid my eyes on is not as valuable as this information. My friends, Jesus is the truth, and he will set you free. But you must cry out to him and go and run and get to know him before it's too late. He's speaking, but you must be listening. You must be tuned into him. So please, turn away from this world and go get to know Jesus before it's too late. May Jesus bless you.